guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Elena and I create new videos every week all about beauty, lifestyle, and we have a wedding series going on as well. So if you guys are interested in any of those things, be sure to go through my videos and check them out. Today, I am really excited to be showing you a DIY product. I did a DIY bridesmaid box and it's got like a lot of views, more views than I'm used to. So I think DIY might be a little fun thing to include in these videos because it seems like people really like them. So today I'm going to be showing you all about DIY bridesmaid hangers. Why bridesmaid hangers? Well, because I have been buying a lot of things on Etsy. I have been engaged for a year and four months and I have been buying things the whole way through, but now that we're getting down to crunch time, I feel that I've just been buying a lot of little things. Etsy's a great tool, don't get me wrong, and I use it all the time, and I half my wedding is you know from Etsy. I wanna say that you can do a lot of it on your own if you have the time and the patience to do so. You don't have to be super creative, you don't have to be super artistic, you just have to want to spend a little bit of your time making some of these products. When I was looking for hangers, I was thinking I could do this myself. So why not do it myself? So I set out and I went to two places. I went to Walmart and I went to Hobby Lobby. So let's go ahead and get started because I'm gonna be showing you exactly how much I paid for each item and we're gonna go through the process together. So at Hobby Lobby, I spent a total of $20.43 and I will show you guys exactly what I got. So I got these Crafter's Choice um, they're like paint brushes, but they have like a really fine tip so that you can write them. So they're $5.99. I want to tell you guys that I did use a 40% off coupon on one full price item. I'm not sure which item that was on though. So I got those paint brushes along with these paint brushes. I needed a thicker one to be able to paint all the paint on there and some thin ones just in case I wanted to add any little decorative things and really get creative. Got some gold glitter tool not ribbon i got tool my mom wanted me to reiterate that because i facetimed her while i was there and she wanted me to tell everybody to get the tool because it's prettier so and it's bigger and it's more fluffy i got the thing that we need which is the all-purpose acrylic paint and i got white because i wanted to get white hangers so that's what i'm going to be using I also got a little acrylic paint of navy because I wanted to have it just in case I wanted to do any decorative touches. And I got some glitter paint. So I got blue and gold glitter paint. They were $3.99 a piece and they're so pretty. I'm really excited to try them because I just think they're really, really pretty. And this is the kicker. So all of this was $20.43. That's everything you need besides the hangers. So. I was thinking, where can I get wooden hangers? Well, I went to Walmart and I got wooden hangers. I know they're wood suit hangers, but this this didn't bother me because they're suit hangers. So if that bothers you, I'm sorry, but the five pack was $2.97 and I got two of them because I know I'll probably mess up. So I laid down because we don't get the paper and I don't know why. So we need to start getting the paper so that when I decide to be creative, I have something to put my painting things on. So I just took like an Aldi's bag and cut it up and there's my pretty centerpiece right there. Look how beautiful, TJ Maxx. All right, so this is where I'm gonna be painting everything. I wanna forewarn you guys really, really quickly. My wedding colors are white and gold with a dash of navy blue just to add like a little bit of color in there, but it's white and glitter gold. So I wanted white hangers with glitter gold and glitter navy blue because I thought that would be really pretty. So just change that to whatever your wedding colors are because I'm not sure what they are, but you're gonna want to match that. I'm gonna warn you guys, you probably won't see my face for this part because I'm gonna put you down so you could see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna take you through one hanger because that is all I'm gonna do on camera because I don't have enough um, paper bags or paper for that fact to cover my whole thing. I'm going to make a hanger for my four bridesmaids, my one bridesman, he's my man of honor, 
and the mother of the groom and the mother of the bride because it's just nice for pictures. Um, I had my bridal one made on Etsy because I just figured that I didn't know how to bend wire so I would let someone else do that but I'm gonna show you guys how I'm gonna do this one. So let's get started. All right, so taking this white acrylic paint, I am going to just squirt some out like that. I'm going to take my paintbrush and I'm just going to start painting. And I don't think it has to be really perfect at all. My bridesmaids love me no matter what, so they won't be offended if it's not perfect. And just so you know, when I was looking to buy these hangers, like made the way that I wanted them, it was, um, I'm gonna try to keep it with long strokes because I noticed I'm doing super short strokes and it's not really looking that good. So I was gonna have them made and they all range about, I'd say eight to $12 per hanger and then add shipping on that. So I talked to you guys as I finished painting this, just to give you guys a little bit different of a view and not to bore you while I'm painting this hanger perfectly. I did a whole DIY bridesmaid box video where I created their cards. All I bought was card stock and markers and I handmade all of their cards and I handmade almost everything. So if that interests you guys, be sure to, um, Check that out, I'll link it down below. I recommend waiting for another side to dry. I'm just picking it up and holding it as I do the other side because I'm impatient. And I wanna make sure that this is gonna work, so I'm just picking it up and continuing my painting. If you guys are confused by any part of this or you have any questions, leave them down below because I will answer them. This isn't as messy as I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna be honest, I was really nervous I was gonna ruin our kitchen table. Well, my fiance was at work, but it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. Look at mom. Oh, cute. So I got it painted so far, but I'm just letting it dry. But look how good it looks. It looks really good. And it's not hard at all. No, I'm just making hangers. Dad, here. look. Oh, very nice. I'm painting them. I'm saving like $70. Cool. Yeah. Those are so cute. Mom, what cookies are you making? What wedding cookies? Yeah, those are for the dresses for the girls. That's a gift. She's oh. gonna put their name on them. Okay. Nice. Aren't they so cute? They're gonna be so cute, Elena. I know. Which um wedding cookies are you making? These are the Asa de Morte. Or did you Oh my gosh, you're like done. Well no yeah. nothing. All right, so my next step now that the paint is dry, I know it looks like a hot mess, but the paint's dry. I'm gonna take one of these Crafters Choice. They're just like paint pens that I got at Hobby Lobby. I'm gonna take the navy, this is royal blue acrylic paint from Hobby Lobby, and I'm gonna take the glitter paint. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit out onto my, so that's the royal blue, because I'm not sure that the glitter's gonna be thick enough, so I really want uh, just good thing I didn't do my nails yet I'm gonna just try and maybe do like a good mix of the two or we'll see all right so this is gonna take some concentration so I'm just going to show you guys this view of it and then I'll show you guys the final product I think I'm gonna start off with a really easy name and just work my way up because I've never done this before and I didn't watch any videos on how to do this, so. All right. So after a little bit of practice, this is um, what I have found, if I can find the paintbrushes. So this skinny paintbrush came in the pack with the really big paintbrush that I've been using to paint all of the hangers. Um, I would recommend using this for um, the name, so writing like any names or wedding dates or anything like that, I would recommend using the thinner paintbrush 
and then I used the crayon tip paint brushes they were called the crafters choice paint brushes for any of the gold glitter that I was using I'm just gonna show you guys really quick how it came out so it's probably backwards but it says Rosanna hold on one second I'll show you guys up close and personal so it just says Rosanna and then it's got a little gold glitter and I wanted it to be like the messier font so I did like a little bit more of an artsier font and then I did little gold glitter drops with the crayon pen and then I'm going to add a gold bow so one moment. Alright so I'm just going to measure out some of the gold glitter be careful because this one that I bought is really really glittery but I'm going to use about this much so about like an arm's length and I'm just gonna cut it with some scissors it doesn't have to be like Etsy or Pinterest worthy it can just be really cute and I think your friends will love you for it because you've probably spent $800 on other things but I'm just gonna take it and take the hanger and just tie it tight I'm gonna lay this down so that I can focus on it because if I show you guys me tying the bow, I might mess up some of the paint. So I'm gonna tie it as tight as I can. And then, oh. it's kinda hard to work with, I'm not gonna lie, the tool bow. So if you want something a little bit easier to work with, I know my mom won't agree with this, but go with like a normal ribbon. It, the tool bow is really, really pretty, but it's just not super functional, if I'm being honest. Oh, I messed up a little bit of my gold glitter. And this is what the little bow looks like. And it's just super cute. So that is all that I have for you guys today. I had to take my engagement ring off because I was nervous. I was going to get paint all over it. And I don't want to do that because I am covered in paint. Like I'm covered in glitter and paint. So I'm going to go edit this. I want to get this up for you guys today. Um, let me know what you guys think of this. I know it's really simple. It's nothing like Pinterest worthy, but it's definitely cute. And I would love it if my friends did this. So I like to keep things a little bit personal. I always said that along my wedding planning journey. Getting married is like really special to me and I just think that, you know, I want to make it as personal as possible so that my friends look back and go, oh my god, she made this for us. And, you know, it's not always about paying as much as you can to have something made. Sometimes it's about, even if it's just one thing that you do, putting a personal touch on something. Even if you just, you know, maybe you decide that you don't want to paint something or you don't want to craft, but maybe you want to write somebody a card or just thank them for everything because your bridesmaids, your bridesmans, your groomsmen, whatever you have, they're a huge part of your day they're what's standing beside you they're what's you know taking you through this journey some of them may have known you before you got with your significant other and they've just been on this journey of life with you and you want to make sure that they know that they're valued and appreciated so this is just a little way of me showing them that I would try at the very least to be crafty and make them something beautiful. If you guys liked this video and you've made it all the way to the end, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and share this with any of your friends that might be getting married this 2018 or 2019. Be sure to share this with any brides or grooms to be. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all soon again in my next video.